In today's Hawk Talk, we meet a teacher who shares her passion for Shakespeare. We're also learning new ways to perfect our sleeping schedule. And we get a haunting lesson about not wearing our IDs. Get ready for ACIT's Hawk Talk, the show that lets you know. Good morning and welcome to Hawk Talk. The show that lets you know. I'm Kyle Wood. And I'm Karen Nieves. We have an amazing show ahead of us. But first, let's find out what's going on in today's morning announcements with Dylan Francisco. Good morning, Red Hawks. My name is Dylan Francisco and here are your morning announcements. Today is a B-Day. Attention all Red Hawks. Do you have anxiety or stress? Everyone suffers from these at one time or another. Join us during your Wednesday lunch period for Hawk Talk learning groups to find out how to deal with anxiety and stress. If you're not done so already, please get a permission form from either the cafeteria wall, the main building, or Mrs. Eitner in the South Wing. Students looking for employment or a summer job? Come to HIT's first annual job fair on April 11th during your lunch period. Dress to impress. Bring a copy of your resume, a great smile, and a firm handshake. Naviance has a resume builder. Log on and click About Me tab, then resume to get started. In need of a dress shirt, men? No problem. Stop past room 1315 during your lunch period if you need one. I'm Dylan Francisco, and that's your morning announcements. In this week's Teacher Spotlight, we introduce you to Miss Perry, an English teacher who is sharing her passion for Shakespeare's classics with her students. Okay, so here are Julius Caesar, Act 2, Test Notes. The first to kill Mrs. Perry loves her job. She, she brings energy and excitement to stories that students may not consider fun to read. Uh, some of my favorite lessons are when uh, my students can really um, get creative and express themselves. I like when we read plays and they um, pick roles and they act out the parts. When they really get into it, it's a lot of fun. She says the best thing about being a high school English teacher is watching the students grow and be successful. Um, I love helping people and working with young people, especially teenagers. Um, they're fun, every day is different, um, and I get to see them grow and change and be successful. Uh, some of my favorite lessons are when um, my students can really um, get creative and express themselves. I like when we read plays and they um, pick roles and they act out the parts. When they really get into it, it's a lot of fun. She loves many books, but her favorite book is Shakespeare's Hamlet. What she likes about the book are the twists and turns. A lot of favorite authors, um, a lot of authors that I like. I think if I had to pick a favorite, it would be William Shakespeare. Um, the things he um, wrote about are still uh, impactful today, and I think he's smart and funny. This is Sincere Washington, reporter of ACIT's Hawk Talk. You know, Mrs. Perry does a really good job at teaching us the complex language of Shakespeare. Yeah, she makes it really fun, so we can understand it. Lucky for us, in this week's Health Watch, reporter Jacob Barr tells us how we can have a healthy sleep schedule. Hey, Kyle, Kyle, wake up, man. Come on, you gotta be working, man. I'm oh, sorry, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Well, that's probably because you haven't maintained a constant sleep schedule. Do you have trouble staying awake in your classes or in general? You probably need to fix your sleep schedule. According to the National Sleep Foundation, there are several different factors that could ruin your sleep schedule, such as Napping While napping may help you stay active and alert in the short term, it actually can be very detrimental to your sleep schedule. Avoid it at all costs. Distractful Noises Listening to music or TV while you sleep can keep you awake, so to avoid temptation, fatten them out of your night. Technology the type of light that phones, computers, and other technology emits can actually keep you up longer. There is an option on most phones that can change the type of light emitted to call less of a strain on your eyes, but for the best results, it is recommended to get rid of them altogether. Sleep is an important facet of our lives. Having a consistent and healthy sleep schedule makes us happier, healthier, and more productive in our day-to-day -day activities. Make sure to start improving your sleep today. Now there are a few tips I can use. Speaking of tips, 
We all know we need to wear our IDs, but did you know there is a consequence for not scanning in? Reporter Santiago Gomez has a great tip for this week. Excuse me, gentlemen, you got your IDs? Yeah, right here. You have your ID? No, I don't have mine. Where's your ID? I didn't bring it. All right, let's go. Detention. Thank you. Two hours later. Thanks, I'll be sure to always have my ID. That's it for this week. Have a great day, Redhawks. <laughs>